Hello, and welcome back to Beards, Bourbon, and Games. I'm your co-host, Conquer Corey, and we may have Mike. Oh, I'm so ready for this. Oh, I'm so ready for this. And today we're going to show you how to set up Emu Deck on your uh, Steam Deck. Uh, this allows you to create a, create a Collections tab on your Steam Gaming Mode that you can simply select your games and play your retro games all organized in the nice little squares as you see here on the screen. And get this, it pre-configures all your emulators on the install. Oh, yes. So this is super complicated, and I'm going to show you the simple steps. No, I'm kidding. Like this is this is probably the easiest emulator setup video I've ever done. So first, we need to go to desktop mode. To do that, you're going to press the Steam button, go to Power, and then click Desktop, and this will bring you to the desktop inter inter interface of your Steam Deck. Many of you may are probably like saying, "Wait, there's a desktop mode." Next, we're going to open up our web browser. I use Firefox on here, and we're going to go to uh, emudeck.com. We'll have a link in the description below. Uh, that you can simply just uh, reference. Once on this page, we're going to click download, and it literally has one button, and that is download app. That's too hard for me. Can't do it. It's almost like they, they configured it for this. So we're going to download it. Once, you down, once it finishes downloading, you can open up your Dolphin File Explorer on your Steam Deck and go to the download section. There you will have your Emu Deck uh, desktop installer. Now, you can't right-click it for all those Windows users. You have to actually go to Properties first and then go to the Permissions tab, and there's a little checkbox that turns it into an executable. Then you can double-click it like a casual Windows user like I am. <laughs> Once you're prompted, click Execute. It's going to run through all the installers, and this is going to download and install and configure all your emulators for you. It is beautiful. It's amazing. We do get the splash screen. Uh, technical details important. But here we have an option between easy mode or expert mode. So expert mode is great if you want to tinker it, uh, but I'm just going to show you easy mode because some of us just want to play retro games. So you click that, it's going to go through all the install steps. Now mine's already done, so you're not going to see that, but it literally takes care of everything. And at the end, it tells you two very important folders that I'm going to show you here. I installed mine on my SD card, so it's listed under primary in my file explorer. There's an emulation folder, and in that folder, there is a BIOS folder. Now this is where you're going to drag and drop all the BIOS files for your uh, particular emulators, such as PlayStation, uh, your Sega Saturn, or Dreamcast, uh, your PlayStation 2 emulator, even your PlayStation 3. Uh, and you don't have to do any kind of special setup of folders. You literally just drop the BIOS files into that BIOS folder, and the system pre-configures your emulators to look at that directory. It, it, it's beautiful. It's amazing. I just I can't. I can't. I can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see here, I just I just dropped my BIOS files. The next important one is the games folder. And you're probably going to be blown away. Don't panic from this. It pre-creates all these folders for you that all you have to do is simply drag and drop your ROMs into the specific system. You have Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. God. DS. They did it all. There's a PlayStation 3, PlayStation... There's a PS4 folder in there for whenever we get brave enough to try that. Um, but you simply just drag and drop your ROMs. You, this cannot make this any easier. So to show you how I've moved my ROMs, I plugged in the flash drive to my Steam Deck dock. I opened up a new window in my Dolphin Explorer, and I'm simply just going to navigate to my USB drive in that new window and literally drag and drop some of my ROM files. So I'm looking, I, I believe I go PSP this route and do the PSP. No, uh, it is, the play, yeah, PSP is what I do. So here's my two PSP files. I literally drag, drop, move here, done. What an amazing program this is. So developers, if you're watching this video, which I doubt you are, we're little fish in a big, big ocean. But if you are watching this video, I just want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts uh, for making this so easy and open up emulation to the masses. It's it's just amazing. And then here I have my PlayStation 3 uh, files that I am dropping here. Now, just a little note, you cannot load ISOs. They have to be in the little, the exact disk format. Like it has a little full subfolders and stuff in it. So just a heads up, you're supposed to be ripping these from your disk anyways. That's all I'm going to say on this. Next, we're going to right click the little Steam icon at the bottom right. Close Steam. Now, the reason for that is we are going to launch the Steam ROM Manager. But you know what? If you forget to uh, close it like I did my first time, it closes it for you. It's, it's literally Corey proof. You can't mess this up. 
Now this looks very intimidating, but don't be scared by the screen. You literally go to the top left, you click preview. That's all you have to do, bare minimum. Then we're gonna go down, we're gonna click generate app list. What this is gonna do is it's gonna generate icons and banners for all your emulators and all your games to put into your Steam library. Next, scroll down, you can see some of my games popping up here. Um, so the, the hardest thing for this is just let it complete as fast, much as it can. Go make some coffee. I don't know, walk outside for once, like I did. Got my monthly walk-in while I was waiting on this. What's this Next, outside you talk about? We're going to click Save App List, and then at the top right, we're going to click the drop-down menu, as you saw there, and select Posters, and we're going to, guess what? Do it again. Generate app list. It literally takes care of itself. You can walk away, do whatever you want. This is insane. This is great. This is the, probably the single best invention in emulation ever. And the Steam Deck, you're about to see, is a very capable little console. Uh, so I'm going to click Save App List again. And we're done for the bare minimum. Uh, we can go ahead and close out. And we can go back to gaming mode. And you're going to have that collection tab where you can just literally click the folder and launch your games. So, with that being said, I want to show you some emulation. So this is uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Crossfire. For those who don't know, this came out on the PlayStation 3. This is the PlayStation 3 game, by the way. It runs this game better than the PlayStation 3 did. It was notorious for having like 15 frames, 20 frames per second, and, and you do see that here. But you gotta understand, this is like handheld. And it, it jumps up to 30 and 40 frames. And you're probably asking me, why in the world are you playing this game? I'm a Gundam fan. I love Gundam games, even the bad ones. <laughs> now you will notice some flashing here on the screen. Um, that, I believe, is something to do with the dock I had my uh, Steam Deck connected to while I was recording this footage. Um, on the screen itself, I did not notice those issues. But I'm going to take a second to just, just reflect something here. This is PlayStation 3 emulation. Now, I know a lot of it's on the developer's end. They've just done a great job with this emulator, but just, just let that settle in for a minute. You can now play PlayStation 3 games on your handheld the emulation. And there, there's a lot of them that you can play now. And I literally just spent, boy, maybe five minutes setting this up to get it to work. The, granted, PlayStation's a little bit tricky. There's a, there's a little bit of things to it, like the folders and, you know, getting the firmware, but there's instructions on that. Like, you literally Google it and they tell you, hey, go to, go to Sony's website and pull the, the firmware you need. And Sony allows you to download it directly. It's nothing copyright protected as far as... Yeah. You download it from the website. It's almost like... Next, we're moving on to a PlayStation 2 game, because you know I love my PlayStation 2 games, and this is Burnout 3 Takedown. And I am very happy about this, because those that may have, may have recall from our GPD Win video, tried to run this on GPD Win, and I got some very stuttery results. It looks like you're running it at 60 frames. Yeah, it actually was. I had a hard time steering. As you can tell there, I look like I'm a drunk driver, just trying to drift here, and I'm failing miserably. Deja vu. Done. Yeah, I, I totally had the initial D theme song stuck in my head the entire time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not apologizing for it either. Now, I didn't show it on here, but there is actually an original Xbox emulator as well that is actually coming up in development really good. Um, and it, 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 this whole Emu Deck program actually configured it, so. So I got good news for all, all, our, all the retro kitties. If you got a bunch of old consoles and you just say to yourself, man, I'd really love to play these on the go, and you got a Steam Deck, today's your lucky day. I've been wanting to replay a lot of PlayStation games, but I'm so busy that this is going to allow me to actually do that. I'm going to sit down for lunch, I'm at work, I'm out of town, I can just put my Steam Deck out, I can play it a little bit. I can do all of that straight from here. It's just 
It's so nice. It's so awesome. And, uh, and it also plays very well, as you can see here, a certain game from a certain console that kind of sounds like an ambulance siren. <laughs> I'm not going to say that because, you know, Nintendo has the hammer and they're just ready to strike. Um, and again, I just want to point, point out again that the flashing you see is not from the emulator itself. It's from the capture card we were using at the time uh, with the, in combination with the dock. So um, this does not do it when you're actually playing the game on... The Steam Deck. Yeah, and, and you may see some little graphical glitches, especially with like Simu, like the, the emulator here. That's just because it's still a somewhat new emulator, even though it's matured quite well over the couple of years. So you're going to see little things. That, that's with anything emulation, but yeah, the constant, like Mike mentioned, the flashing you're seeing there, um, we did not encounter any of that while testing it in the BBG or in R&D department. And for those that are wondering, yes, it does actually use uh, the Duck Station emulator for PlayStation. So you do have the option to scale and do all that good stuff if you choose to do so. Uh, basically, for the lower end consoles, it uses RetroArch cores. But then for like PlayStation 2, um, PlayStation 2, Simu. Uh, I almost fell for it, I almost said it. Um, <laughs> A certain uh, a certain console that uh, is current gen that has little detachable side controllers that you you can shake like maracas and stuff. I guess that's the name of the instrument. I'm saying it wrong. Uh, yeah. it, it, play, it, it plays it plays those those games uh, by by the way as well, and uh, it plays some of them that have just released here the last couple of weeks. Uh, very cloud um, better than the, the console it was developed for. Much better than the console it was developed for, which is absolutely insane to me. It's, um, this, we're gonna come out with a, a review of the Steam Deck later, but just this alone makes the Steam Deck even more worth the money, in my opinion. So I'm, I'm really excited about this. Yeah, it, it is truly a Swiss Army knife of, uh, uh, I'm gonna call it, it's a console. I mean, it's established itself as its own console at this point. Because um, this, this is on Linux, by the way. This is Windows, as you can tell from the earlier part of the video. This is all built on Linux. Um, and I'm impressed by it. But uh, let us know what you you all think. Uh, do you have a Steam Deck? Have you have you already set up a new deck on your Steam Deck? Are you enjoying it? Uh, what games would you love to play on it? We'd love to hear your comments about it and what you're looking forward to. If you got your Steam Deck pre-ordered and you're waiting on it, what are you looking forward to the most? But as always, I'm your co-host, Conqueror Corey. And I'm excited. And we'll see you. See you.